typical snack kit, huh? Oh yeah. So, guy with the orange Camaro just picked it up. Dropped us off some snacks when we picked it up. Nice some Ultra Zeros. They're, the Zero Ultras are my favorite. What's Ultra Red? Uh, I don't know. I've never had that one. Ultra Blue and Ultra Red. I don't know if we've had the Ultra Reds. Yeah, I don't think so. Well, thank you. Thank you. Matt, what have you got going on here? Heard you're doing rods and pistons on it. Yup. I haven't heard what the story is though. What do you, what kind of story are you looking for? Like a, I don't know, what, what happened? Like blow a up? nursery rhyme? What do you mean what happened? You blow up? No. Or is it just? You just watch me pull it on this lift. Okay, so it's not like hurt or nothing? It's just getting ready for boost? Just like the fucking 300 other ones I've done, Garrett. Just getting upgraded rods and pistons. Cool. I can't remember if we did the valve covers and shit to this. Or maybe, maybe the guy just bought the stuff. I'm not sure. Holy fucking oil leaks. Jesus. Ooh. It's gonna have to go outside and get. Yeah, I'll have to. Scrub that. Oh, this is one of those uh, LT1 cars. Yeah. Nice. Does it have some uh, different stuff with the cooling? It just doesn't it have those little mini uh, coolers, whatever you want to call them, right here. These right here. Here's one right here. Does not have these. Oh, okay. Makes things a little bit more enjoyable coming apart. Not much different though when you're pulling the motor out like I do, more so if you're like pulling the bumper off. I put this oil down dry. This oil dry down. I figure I can kill two clean up birds with one stone and it's really fucking me with this engine hoist. <laughs> the wheels, wheels not having a good time rolling over it. There she goes. Golly. Do not want to roll over it. Okay, we had two bolts missing on the back of the cylinder heads. This bolt was wrong. This not ground good. bolt was wrong. This bracket was missing. Keep going around the motor. This bracket was missing. Bolt missing on the back of the cylinder head. This bolt was wrong. This bolt was wrong. All the fucking clips are broken. That spark plug was loose. As you can see. Well, the other spark plug so bubbles are nice and clean. No, that one looks nasty. This shit always drives me nuts because I'm like, why? Like, Clearly it went. I'm gonna guess it was a dealer, judging by all the wrong bolts were still GM bolts, they just weren't bolts that long in the Camaro. So I'm gonna assume that maybe it was warranty work, I don't know. She's got a let's go. I'm going there, or wherever she wants to, she's gonna. Garrett had a fast car. Yeah, Garrett had a fast car. Then he drove around and blew it the fuck out, blew up a rock here and drove. Just think, Garrett, the first day you're like, hmm, my car doesn't sound right. You could have just been like, Matt, can we pull the valve curves? Like, this doesn't sound right. I'd be like, sure, Garrett. Why not, bud? I love working on shit after work. I would have pulled the valve curves. Yeah, yeah I bet you would have said that. I'd like, fuck, dude. I'm going to get you a set of trunnions. Ripped all the rockers off two months ago. That thing been still slapping and dapping. I love doing trunnions. I think it's fucking it's a nice, uh, chief insurance. I mean, it takes 20 minutes. Stand there, swap them out. It's a nice little break. 
What's it cost? Fucking. Two hundred bucks. Two hundred bucks. Two thousand dollars short block. Uh. Yeah. I just can't believe 1100 on 93. 93 in math. Yeah. You're welcome. Ain't the same 93 that it was back in... 93. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Probably fucking Glasgow with everybody else. Tower Hill, probably. left. See you flash. did it came here stock like a while ago and then we did like headers and like bolt-on stuff to it now it came back we did a head cam package um, drop-in rods and pistons and a flex fuel kit uh, let's go This thing will be ready for boost next time it comes around. Which I'm assuming, obviously, is his end goal since he did rods and pistons and heads and cam and everything at one time. So, next year, probably get some boost. Pretty good that time. This is the first one we've done. It's got like a JLE, JLT intake on it. I had it on it already, but you know, if anybody wants to buy me something, I mean like a nice little AP or something like that. I mean, you can get me something a little less. This is only 225,000, so big watch guy. Let's see what we got. you that don't know or don't remember when we do the rods and pistons in there it drops compression a little bit um 
So if you think like, oh, why doesn't it make as much power as like your other heads cam stuff? That's why. That's because the compression drops some. But when we put boost to it, it'll handle 1,100 wheel. Um, can you get some heat for this thing? You see how much gas is in this fucker. Like a half tank, which means we probably won't be able to get the E um, too high. It shows 8.3 gallons. And I think these are like 16 gallon tanks. My guess is with eight gallons, he's dumping five in. It's probably gonna get like 40, probably not even percent, 35 percent. Um, got it in and cycled around, and I'm pretty good at mathing in my head. Uh, I think I said it would get to probably 35 percent. It's 34.1. Uh, we'll make a pull or two, and then we got another five gallons to dump in, which may bring us to 50, so we'll see. He went down a little bit, I guess still cycling around. 33%. 549. 482 torque. Probably let it cool after this one because it's lunchtime and then we'll come back. I'll probably actually make this pull, dump the E in, circulate it, then let it cool. A. So we're gonna dump this in and then uh, let it cool down and we'll be back after lunch. Uh, okay, we let it cool down over lunch. Tank is all the way full right now and it's got 47% E in it. Let's go. I don't think it'll pick up more than that, but I'm gonna play with some other stuff. It's just some stuff for when I do uh, the trans, which will be here, well, which I will be doing here in a second. Tuner's pretty spot on on that, so I don't think it's gonna pick up any power. But I'm gonna make one more pull, then I'll do some trans. Things pretty stout. Ready for some boost. Uh, once he boosts it, it'll probably close to double its horsepower. But 466, 495. Later.